guys, welcome to your first online art lesson. So when I've been at home, I've been going outside pretty much every single day, trying to get a lot of fresh air, and I've been noticing all these signs that spring is coming. Um, I know it snowed this morning, but spring is here. And one way I can tell is that I've noticed a lot of little birdies that I can hear them singing in the morning. I can see them outside. Um, I can see them trying, starting to build their nests. So today we're going to make a drawing of a fun little springtime bird and give him a little birdhouse. Um, there's lots of different ways you can do it. I colored one with colored pencils. I colored one this one with markers. I use my oil pastels to make this bird. So whatever art supplies you have at home that you wanna use are perfect for this project. We're gonna get started. So we're just gonna go step by step and I'm going to show you how to make our birdies, how to make our birdhouse, and I'll show you different ways that you can make this project your own because I never want it to look just like mine, right? You're gonna use your own creative ideas and your own style to make this really cool birdhouse. Are we ready? All right, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start by making the roof of my birdhouse. And all I need to do is make some diagonal lines. I'm just gonna go up and down so it makes a point. You can make it a little wavy, a little curly, whatever you want. Now we need to make some vertical lines down. I'm gonna go down and down. Next, just a simple horizontal line all the way across. To make it look a little bit fancier, we're gonna double up those lines. Back down, boop, and back down like that. Same thing with my horizontal line here. Now, birdhouses for their doors usually have a circle, but you can make your door shape whatever you want. Now I'm gonna make the bird. And there's a couple different ways to make the bird, so I'll show you different ways how. Um, can, I can make one by just making a roundish shape like that. And maybe this guy will be looking towards us, so I'll make his beak a little triangle. Cute, right? I can... Two lines down for legs. Doot, doot, doot. And then I can give him a little wing, maybe like that. Eyes. There's one way to make a little bird. A different way I can do it, like how I did for this bird, is by making a curve and then slowly back like that. Sort of like a raindrop shape. Little triangle beak. Maybe this guy can have curly feathers on top. I can add a little wing, like that, and his eye. I can give him eyelashes, this is a fancy one. And her tail feathers like that. Her legs can be bent. That one's a long leg. There, maybe a little belly. Now it's time to add your details, and this is where you can get creative. You can make your tree house, your bird house, maybe it's on just a stick like that. Maybe you're gonna want to put some branches over to the side. Branches are just lines, B's and Y's, like that. I'll put one over here too. We'll put some leaves in the trees. Maybe some flowers. Um, let's see. And we want our birdhouse to have some fancy kind of pattern to make it look interesting. On this example, I did just some lines and some swirls. I made this one look a little bit different. Got zigzags, I gave it a door and some decorations. I gave a different pattern on this birdhouse. So you're gonna add some details to it so that it looks interesting and creative. 
over here, maybe I'll go like this and maybe I'll put a bumpy line all around the door where our birds come in. Like that. I can add some lines going across. But here guys, you're going to decorate your birdhouse however you want to. I'll switch it up and do some wavy lines. Like that. You can even add some more details. Maybe there's some clouds in the sky to fill that space. I'll put one coming right off the edge. And that's it, ta-da! You're ready to add your color however you want. You could even add more texture to your birdies. Maybe this guy's got some feathers here. Some spots. And we're all done. So, I hope you guys show me your artwork. You can email it to me, antoonsa at norarkps.com. Org. You can post it on Instagram or Wait and Rocks Art. You can send it to Mrs. Delia and she'll post it on our digital scrapbook. I hope you had fun. I hope you show me your artwork. I miss you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.